what is going on everybody this of course is mr tony stark and what you're going to be watching is going to be a 30 and 7 free for all on the map sovereign using the fully automatic msbs the class that's full of bs and uh that's not really important it's nothing spectacular what i really want to do is talk about a specific topic and um, i haven't done a topical commentary in a while so you're gonna have to bear with me it's not something that's going to be um, necessarily fun or you know, easy for me to talk about as far as that goes. For the simple fact that uh, I like to deal with serious issues, but I don't like to sound like I'm complaining. And uh, this one is going to be borderline. So if you're offended and you don't really want to listen, I understand. Uh, it's not that big a deal. It's just something that I really need to talk about and really need to get off my chest. Because recently, uh, up until today, it really kind of came to a head. But I've been really, really frustrated and agitated with people and their behavior, their actions their mentality just in general whether it's youtube gaming just people in real life but mostly on the internet um i'm tired of people's behavior and them thinking that they can do things say things act a certain way with no consequence because it is the internet i'm not naive i do realize that this behavior has been around forever as long as you could be whoever you want to be on the internet you can act the way you want with no consequence and it's fine. It's not considered cyberbullying because you can just walk away from the screen and you can do how whatever you want to get away from the internet. And that's all well and good, but that does not make it okay for you to act like an idiot. It does not make it okay for certain people to think that they can get away with whatever they want to say and do with no consequence. Because ultimately, there is consequences. And all over Twitter, all over social media, gaming, YouTube, everything that I'm immersely involved in, uh, immensely involved in, I mean, with just because my hobby is that, is YouTube and gaming, and, and I'm just connected to the internet, just because I'm in there doesn't mean I have to put up with it, doesn't mean that I have to sit by and watch people act a certain way and never be told otherwise. Uh, it's so, so frustrating, and it, and it all came to a point last night whenever I saw that uh, this kid, he's a child, I don't care how old he is, he's a, he's a child, the kid that hacked Nade Shot's uh, entire online persona. He hacked his, his PayPal, his Twitter, his YouTube, his Twitch, got his Twitch ban, took down his YouTube videos, you know, broadcast his PayPal balance and statement on the internet for everyone to see. This, this child that thinks that that's fun and that thinks that that's okay to do these things for the simple fact that he's going to get a rise out of people and he's going to make people react to it. The simple fact that that is okay behavior and people support it, our community supports it, and I, I am appalled by it. And it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I like Nate Shot as a person, as a, as a gamer. It has everything to do with this kid thinking that it's okay and thinking that there's no consequences. Now, down the road, there may be legal consequences for him, whether he you know, gets in trouble, fined, jailed, whatever it might be. That's not really kind of what I'm looking at. I'm I'm talking about his his behavior and attitude because just for the fact that he'll get fined for that is not going to make him change how he looks at it, how he uh, views the entire situation. It's not going to make him sorry. It's not going to make him remorseful. It's in his persona that this this child that thinks it's okay and and wants to get a rise out of people and thrives off of other people's misery the that's who he is and that's who he's become whether it's parenting whether it's his his upbringing friends whatever it might be or whether it's the internet and the fact that he grew up on the internet and he grew up in a place where it was okay to act a certain way and to get away with it to tell a kid that he's never met before that his mom is is going to die and he hopes that you know he never sees her again whatever it might be the fact that he grew up in this place he grew up in in, in this environment in this toxic environment makes it okay for him to act that way and and personally he might think that that's fine he might think that there's nothing wrong with it because you know he's a kid and he can do whatever he wants now while he's young and he's immature and uh you know whatever but ultimately whether it's now whether it's later there will be consequences in his life for how he's acted and how he's molded himself and the person that he is growing up to be and i'm just using him as an example because there are thousands of these people there are they're everywhere the internet is full of toxic people that you would never ever want to be around ever in your life but then you meet them in real life and they're not that person that's not who they are in real life because all of a sudden they have to face the person that they were just insulting and they have to see the look on their face and they have to maybe get something thrown back at them and then they have to deal with it in real life now don't take this as me saying that everyone everyone has this this mentality because there are plenty of good people and good 
uh, good-hearted people that I've met on the internet that I am now friends with that I would consider close friends. But the internet as a place and as a community is a terrible place to have anything, to have a community, to have your family, your kids. It's a terrible place for people to post their opinions and to post everything. And you're like, wow, you're a hypocrite because you're doing the same thing. You're posting your opinion. Yes, I am. But in all reality, me posting my in- my opinion and saying, you know, I-, I see this kind of behavior and doing that is not me going out and attacking somebody and saying, uh, y- you know, you're... You're a terrible person. I hope your mom dies. I hope that your you know your family gets cancer. What whatever whatever it might be. I'm sick of people not having any consequences for their for their behavior. You know, if uh, if I thought it was okay for people to hack other people and to to do whatever they wanted, then yeah, maybe I would need I would need uh, called out on or wh- whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm getting off topic. The whole point is is that I need it to remind everyone maybe just remind myself that there are consequences to your actions no matter whether you think so or not no matter whether it's now it's later uh the choices that you make and the 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 people that you choose to make miserable along with yourself um it it all comes back around what goes around comes around as they say and it's and it's true whether it's now or later you'll eventually realize that and you'll eventually realize what a waste of time it is trying to make other people miserable if that's your entire goal in life is to make other people miserable and you thrive off of that shame on you i don't really have anything else to say other than that i i just had like i said had to get off my get it off my chest and if you stuck around this long i appreciate it um you know i I do enjoy interaction with the people that you know watch my channel so uh, that's all I really have time for, guys. I'd love to hear some comments in the comment section below. But I'm out. Peace.